it. You know what I'm saying? As soon as we get something that's good, the white man come with a shiny mirror or some couple beads or something, and we sold in a drink. You know what I'm saying? A St. Ives commercial. We're fine. Thank you. Fuck that. I wanted to make it something that we could live by. If I, I felt like there was no way I could stop calling myself a nigga. Just as sure as there was no way that motherfuckers was going to stop calling me nigga. So instead of taking, letting them take that away from me, I took it from them. Niggas now mine. And when they say nigga, they give me strength. You know what I'm saying? So say it. You know what I'm saying? Say it. And all those that say I'm wrong for saying they want to bleep it out, they wasn't bleeping the shit out 20 years ago. So don't bleep the shit out now. I still see Tom and Jerry's, you know, and Popeye's with black Sambo babies and shit. They ain't bleeping that shit out. So I'm damned if I bleeped out nigga. And it's going to be on just like that every time. And I'm going to say it freely just like I say dude. Nigga. That's my word. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. I yeah. took it from there. Yeah. <laughs> just like we could do anything. We can do that. Not, not, I'm not saying this. For, I got to say this again. It's not black against white. When I say we, it's the good against evil. You know what I'm saying? And what I mean by we can take anything we want, we can, take, we can have anything. Because it belongs to you. If you're right and, and you, you got um, good on your side, I really truly believe that nothing can stop you. You know what I'm saying? And I'm using the same things that America taught me. That's what I'm using, the tools of this country. Capitalism and imperialism, colonialism, I'm using all those against them. And that's what they hate. You know what I'm saying? They hate to see a little black kid sitting in first class with a gang of gold chains, gold rings, you know what I'm saying? The steward is staring at me. You know what I'm saying? They hate that. They hate that shit so bad. They hate when um, I get off the plane and they, they lugging their luggage to go find a cab and I got a car waiting for me with my name real big, big African name, Tupac. They hate that. I see it in their eyes. They hate that when they see me in the restaurant or something with a girl, it's a black woman that I'm sitting next to. They hate that. They hate it. They really hate it when it's a white woman, but they won't see it. They won't, not from Tupac. So they hate that they see me with black women. They hate that I don't say bitch. You know what I'm saying, to black females. I say bitch to, to white cops. And the crooked cops, that's who I say bitch to. That's who's a bitch. You know what I'm saying? They hate that. They hate that they can't limit me and hold me into one circle. They hate that every time they try to put me in the gangster category, I flip through a somersault and end up in the juice category. And I love that. I love that about myself, and I love that about black people. And if I could love them, I'm loving myself. I remember when I was poor, I hated myself. Now I love myself. So I see what the curse can do, and I see what it takes to get it off you. It just takes a little confidence. And that's what we're missing as black people. We let them make us feel like, you know, quiet. Again, just being quiet. You know what I'm saying? Telling you that wearing gold chains is hoochie. And that's, that's played out because they make jokes about it. You know, boo, ha, ba, ha, ba, ha, ba, ha, ba. <laughs> Really, they ain't got no rhythm. So what can they tell me? How can they joke about boo, ha, ba, ha, ba, and they ain't got no rhythm? You know what I'm saying? How they gonna joke about me wearing gold chains and they wearing a fucking uh, cougar skin? They wearing an animal skin. You know what I'm saying? And it's 20, you know, it's hot. They wear the animals furs and shit. You know what I'm saying? How can they tell me about surviving on this planet and I've been here longer? And I can walk in the sun with no problems. For as long as I want, I can enjoy the air for as long as I want. And they can't. Something's wrong. You know what I'm saying? There is a difference. For us to say that we all equal, we are all equal in terms of the rights that we should be given. But everybody is different. Everybody is unique, and you have to give black people their credits, just like we gave white people their credits. Tupac, um, my mother, you know, when she had, when she gave birth to me, she was just coming out of jail, being in jail because they was holding her for trial. So she had all these female, these women, strong women around her, and she was like, "What am I gonna name my son?" And it was this lady who just came from Peru, and she was telling my mother this folk story about this a true life Peruvian revolutionary named Tupac Amaro, who. The government had told him, okay, we want to say he was fighting the government and he was really winning. These little fucking tribes was beating the government. And they said, okay, we want to stop fighting. We want to meet with Tupac Amar. He came in and met with him and they said, we want to cease the fighting. Would you please cease the fighting? Too many people are dying. We're going to give you what you asked for. He said, okay. Told him to cease fire. As soon as they said cease fire, they cut his arms off, cut his head off, cut his legs off, and stuck him on a stick and put him in the middle of the village. So this is my reminder. That's my reminder. Every time you say my name, that's my reminder to never compromise myself and never quit. There's no such thing as a truce while people ain't free, regardless of who it is.